hey folks, Terry here. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is the uh, where the pieces come out, the sheathing for the uh, fingers. There's two on one side, and then on the other side, you would have another one coming out. Um, discovered an issue. Um, it's uh, in the CAD. Um, we didn't properly provision for these to have enough room to get through. When I measure it in the uh, solid works, basically between this, the side of this bar and the ID of this, uh, of this bolt, this modified bolt, uh, it's like 90 thousandths of an inch, uh, right at dead center. So the maximum is like 90 thousandths width. The problem is, uh, each one of these is 96 thousandths in diameter. So obviously, yeah, it's not going to fit through there. Um, yeah, and definitely not going to have enough room to be able to kind of, you know, have a little bit of rock and roll to it so it can move a little bit and also not be so tight as to where you can't get in there and get at the grub screws uh, for the other cables that go up through and control the, uh, the wrist. So, uh, yeah, the uh, the wrist, the pitch. So, um, how to address this issue? Uh, one, the CAD calls for a drill diameter um, in this particular. Yep, it calls for a drill diameter of uh, twenty nine sixty fourths. Um, yeah, that's a really oddball drill bit size. Um, you probably don't have it, um, but here in America. Well, you got a 7 sixteenths, um, which is, um, you know, I don't know. It's, it's, uh, it's about 10, yeah, about 10 thou or so under. Uh, anyhow, so drill this out to 7 sixteenths, and then, uh, of course, go over here and do this. Just put a chamfer right here at the top. About, eh, about 45 degrees or so, uh, you could use like an 82 degree countersink. I couldn't. I'd had to do this on the lathe. My countersinks wasn't touching uh, this material. It's pretty hard. So I just use the end mill and just, yep, chamfered that. And that's what's in there now. And that works perfectly fine. Gives you plenty of room, uh, plenty of clearance to move things around. And you can use a little bit smaller drill bit size, which then makes this a little bit stronger. Because the minor diameter of the threads and the ID of the wall are just a little bit thicker. Um, so everybody's happy. Everything's happy. There you go. So, yeah, uh, those of you that have built this already, I'm sure you've already, you know, kind of figured this out on your own. But we'll go ahead and we'll uh, we'll just simply change the, uh, you know, the CAD to modify this whole size to a slightly, you know, to a, a, a more ubiquitous, at least here in America, uh, seven sixteenths, and um, I'm not sure what that is in uh, in metric, but um, yeah, as long as you're around that uh, uh, decimal of um, you know point uh, point four three seven five to you know point four five three one, uh, you should be fine. Um, so I don't know if that's like an eleven millimeter or so. I think that'd probably be the closest. Um, Maybe a 10 would work, I don't know, but there again, just, yep, throw that chamfer in there. These things already have to flare out, you know, have to come out this way anyhow to clear out, you know, to clear everything. So, yeah, that, that angle is not a problem at all, doesn't interfere with anything inside, and Bob's your uncle. So, there you go, folks. Uh, yeah, I'll get with Ramon, we'll make that little change in the CAD. It's little things like this that, uh, you know, that trip you up when you're uh, going to assemble these things. So, all right, that's it. Bye for now.